Dear students, welcome back to ChemAsper. In this lecture class, we are going to discuss about the pi molecular orbital diagram of 1,3-butadiene. Let's get started. We know 1,3-butadiene is a conjugated diene. That means this molecule contains alternate double bonds. So it's a diene molecule. We have two double bonds in this molecule. And it is a butadiene molecule. No, this is the structure of butadiene. It is having alternate single and double bonds. And we have four carbon atoms here. Let us designate as C1, C2, C3 and C4. It is containing four carbon atoms. Each of these carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. This is sp2 hybridized. Each carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. And each of these sp2 hybridized carbon atom contain one unhybridized p orbital. Let us see the p orbital hybridization. Each of these carbon atom is having one unhybridized p orbital one unhybridized p orbital and which is having a single electron in the unhybridized p orbital in any pi system the number of pi molecular orbital is equal to the number of unhybridized p orbital since in this 1,3 beta diene system we have four unhybridized p orbital therefore we expect four pi molecular orbitals out of these four pi molecular orbitals two orbitals are bonding molecular orbitals and two orbitals are anti-bonding molecular orbitals so what we have seen now this 1,3 beta diene is a conjugated diene and it is containing alternate double and single bond each carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and each sp2 hybridized carbon atom contains one unhybridized p orbital and in any pi system the number of pi molecular orbital is equal to the number of un unhybridized p orbital and since there are four unhybridized p orbital in 1,3 beta diene we expect four pi molecular orbitals out of these four pi molecular orbitals two orbitals are bonding molecular orbitals and two orbitals are anti-bonding molecular orbitals now let us visualize the pi molecular orbital diagram of this 1,3 butadiene so let's draw the pi molecular orbital of 1,3 butadiene so we have to draw the four pi molecular orbitals of 1,3 beta diene. So, this is your C1, C2, C3, and C4 carbon atoms, and this is your unhybridized p orbital. So let us designate these uh, molecular orbitals as pi 1, pi 2, pi star 3 and pi star 4. Pi 1 and pi 2 are the bonding molecular orbitals. Pi star 3 and pi star 4 are the anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now let us, uh, uh, let us know how this interaction is happening in these pi molecular orbitals. Right? So we have... Here in this pi 1 uh, molecular orbital, there is no node. What is meant by node? Node is the place where there is unavailability of electrons. There will not be any availability of electrons in the node. Suppose consider in this pi 1 molecular orbital, number of node is equal to, number of node is equal to 0. That means there is no node in this pi 1 molecular orbital. So how many interactions, bonding interactions can happen in the molecule? say the bonding interactions may happen between C1 and C2, C2 and C3 and C4, C3 and C4. Three bonding interactions may happen between C1 and C2 and C2 and C3 and C3 and C4. Of the, These bonding interactions are happening between the lobes of the same sign. So bonding interaction number of 
number of bonding interaction is equal to 3. This bonding interaction is between C1 and C2, C2 and C3, C3 and C4. And you can see that there is no anti-bonding interaction, interaction between the lobes of opposite sign. So number of number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 0. So pi 1 is called as the lowest occupied molecular orbital. Pi 1 is the bonding molecular orbital. Number of node in this case is equal to 0. Number of bonding interaction is equal to 3 and number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 0. Now coming to pi 2, here the number of node is equal to number of node is equal to 1. We are considering that there is a node that is existing between the orbitals, right? So, how the interaction may happen? So, there will be two interactions and it can happen between C2, and C3 and C4. There are number of, number of bonding interaction is equal to 2. It is happening between C1 and C2 of the lobes of the same sign and C3 and C4 and the number of number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 1. So you can see that the interaction happening between the lobes of the opposite sign. So anti-bonding interaction is equal to 1 in the pi 2, pi 2 molecular orbital. Coming to pi star 3 molecular orbital number of node is equal to number of node is equal to 2. We are considering two nodes in this orbital. Suppose say these are the nodes that are available in this pi star 3. How the inter bonding interaction can happen between two these adjacent orbitals which are having the same uh, sign. So here the bonding interaction can happen between C2 and C3 and therefore the number of bonding interaction is equal to number of bonding interaction is equal to 1 and the number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 2. What are the two anti-bonding interactions can happen? Anti-bonding interactions can be like this. Right, there are two anti-bonding interactions. So in this pi star 3 molecular orbital, number of node is equal to 2, number of bonding interaction is equal to 1 and number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 2. Coming to pi star 4, number of node is equal to, number of node is equal to 3. Right, so we can have the nodes like this. Right, if the nodes are like this, then the lobes will be of having signs like this and you can see here there are no adjacent lobes having same sign because we have node in between and therefore number of bonding interaction is equal to zero you cannot see any uh, bonding interaction here and the number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 3. You can see here there is one anti-bonding, here there is one anti-bonding and here there is one anti-bonding. Therefore, number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 3. So, in this molecule, in this molecule, we have pi in the 1,3 butadiene molecule, there are 4 pi molecular orbitals, 2 bonding orbitals and 2 anti-bonding orbitals. Bonding orbitals are designated as pi 1 and pi 2. Anti-bonding orbitals are designated as pi star 3 and pi star 4. Here, here in this case, number of node is equal to 0. Number of bonding interaction is equal to 1, 2, 1, 3. Number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to 0. Here, we have 1 bonding interaction we have two bonding interaction and one anti-bonding interaction number of node is equal to one in the case of pi star 3 we have number of node is equal to two number of bonding interaction is equal to one number of anti-bonding interaction is equal to two in this uh, orbital pi star 4 we have number of node is equal to three we have Num uh, three anti-bonding uh, interactions and there are no bonding interactions in this molecule.